Today we are going to study about beta oxidation of saturated fatty acid. Four enzyme catalyzed reaction make up the first pass of beta oxidation. Uh, first is the dehydrogenation of fatty acyl CoA, which produces a double bond between alpha and beta carbon atoms, uh, that is carbon atom 2 and carbon atom 3 of acyl CoA, to yield trans delta 2 in oil CoA. This step is catalyzed by three isozymes of acyl CoA dehydrogenase, which which are specific for uh, fatty acid chain length. Very long chain acyl CoA dehydrogenase attacks on fatty acid containing 12 to 18 carbon atoms. Medium chain acyl CoA dehydrogenase, which acts on fatty acid containing uh, 4 to 14 carbon atoms. And short chain acyl CoA dehydrogenase, which acts on fatty acid containing 4 to 8 carbon atoms. These isozymes are flavor proteins. These enzymes are flavor proteins containing FAD as prosthetic group. When uh, the, the, the reducing equivalents are removed from fatty acyl CoA, they are transferred to FAD. And uh, the reduced form of enzyme, then uh, reduced form of this enzyme that is dehydrogenase, donates its uh, electrons to the electron carrier of mitochondrial respiratory chain that is electron transferring flavor protein. In the second step of beta oxidation, water is added to the double bond of trans delta 2 in oil CoA uh, to form L stereoisomer of beta hydroxy acyl CoA that is 3 hydroxy acyl CoA is formed. Reaction is uh, uh, catalyzed by enoil CoA hydratase. In the third step, L-beta hydroxy acyl CoA is again dehydrogenated to form beta keto acyl CoA by the action of beta hydroxy acyl CoA dehydrogenase. Here the hydrogen atoms are uh, removed from the beta carbon atom. NAD is the NAD plus is the electron acceptor. This enzyme is specific for L stereoisomer only. Then in the fourth and the last step of beta oxidation, uh, which is catalyzed by a acyl CoA acetyl transferase or thiolase it is called which promotes the reaction of beta keto acyl CoA with free coenzyme A to, uh, to remove two carbon atom acetyl CoA under fatty acid with two carbon less uh, is formed that is uh, uh, shorter chain fatty acid is formed as a product and acetyl CoA is also formed. So the last three steps of this pathway for fatty acids of 12 or more carbon atoms are catalyzed by a multi enzyme complex associated with inner mitochondrial membrane. This is this ins, multi enzyme complex is called as trifunctional protein. TFP is a heterooctam each alpha subunit contains two enzyme activities. One is enoil CoA hydratase and the other is beta hydroxyacyl CoA dehydrogenase while the beta subunit contains thiolase activity. This pathway shows the four steps of first pass of beta oxidation of saturated fatty acid. Uh, here the example of palmitoyl CoA is taken which is a uh, 16 carbon atom containing fatty acid. The first enzyme acyl CoA dehydrogenase removes the reducing equivalent between alpha and beta carbon atoms to form double bond between them. FAD acts as reducing uh, acceptor of reducing equivalent and gets converted into FADH2. A double bond is formed so the product is trans delta 2 enoil CoA. Then in the second step enoil CoA hydratase adds water to the double bond and here L-beta hydroxyacyl CoA is formed as the product. In the third step of this pathway, beta hydroxyacyl CoA dehydrogenase enzyme acts on L-beta hydroxyacyl CoA and removes reducing equivalent from beta carbon atom and NAD plus acts as acceptor and gets converted into NADH plus H plus. So the product formed is beta ketoacyl CoA. In the last step, which is catalyzed by thiolase enzyme or it is also called 
called as acyl CoA acetyl transferase. It removes uh, two carbon fragment that is acetyl CoA from beta keto acyl CoA to form a shorter chain fatty acid that is myristoyl CoA plus uh, the two carbon atoms that are removed are removed as acetyl CoA. So these two products are formed uh, in the at the end of the first pass of beta oxidation. After one pass of beta oxidation, palmitoyl-CoA is converted into myristoyl-CoA and acetyl-CoA. Myristoyl-CoA enters the second pass of beta oxidation and again acetyl-CoA is removed leaving 12 carbon atom containing fatty acid. This goes on until all the carbon atoms present in palmitoyl CoA are converted into acetyl CoA. In one pass of beta oxidation, one molecule of acetyl CoA, two pairs of electrons and four protons are removed from long chain fatty acid. Altogether, seven passes uh, through beta oxidation are required to oxidize one molecule of palmitoyl CoA to eight molecule to form eight molecules of acetyl CoA. The reaction can be written as follows: palmitoyl CoA plus seven coenzyme A plus seven FAD plus seven NAD plus plus seven molecules of water will give eight acetyl CoA plus seven FADH2 plus seven NADH plus seven H plus. Now we'll study the yield of ATP during oxidation of one molecule of palmitoyl CoA to carbon dioxide and water. Here the enzymes involved are those uh, taking part in beta oxidation and then uh, those enzymes uh, involved in TCA cycle. So first uh, acyl CoA and then uh, electron transport chain uh, because the reducing equivalents are then oxidized uh, in the respiratory chain. So acyl CoA dehydrogenase, it forms 7 FADH2. 1 FADH2 gives 1.5 ATP. So 7 FADH2 will give 10.5 ATP. Then beta hydroxy acyl CoA dehydrogenase, it forms 7 NADH. Uh, 1 uh, NADH yields 2.5 uh, uh, molecules of ATP. So 7 NADH will yield 17.5 molecules of ATP. Then the enzymes of TCA cycle, isocitrate dehydrogenase, which removes 8 NADH, which are oxidized in respiratory chain to give 20 molecules of ATP. Then alpha ketoglutrate dehydrogenase, 8 NADH, which will yield 20 ATP. Succinyl CoA synthetase, it forms 8 GTP, which is equivalent to 8 ATP. Then succinate dehydrogenase, 8 FADH2 will give 12 ATP. Malate dehydrogenase, 8 NADH will give 20 ATP. So in all, 108 molecules of ATP are formed by oxidation of one molecule of palmitoyl CoA.